Hi, I'm Erica Olson with On Strategy. Today's whiteboard video is on a simplified strategic planning model. You can use this model if you're starting from scratch. You can use this model if you're refreshing your plan and pick apart the pieces that you need to dig in deep and refresh. I'm going to walk you through it. So at the top, putting it all together, framing everything up is your mission statement. It's your statement of purpose and impact. Great organizations have an answer to the question, why do we exist? We move from there and we say, great, where are we now? Where are we going? And how are we gonna get there? Really easy structure, super simple, let's talk it through. So where are we now is our current state. It's probably the second thing you would do if you're walking through a process from scratch. In your current state, you're gonna look back on past performance. You're gonna do a quick summary of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. That would be your SWOT. And that's gonna help you unpack your competitive advantages, what you're best at. From there, moving over and deciding where you wanna go, your future state. You've heard me say probably many times, a strategic plan is only necessary if there's a future you wanna create that's different than today. What's that future? Articulate it in a big, bold vision. Uh, future outcomes, by that I mean just what does the future look like? And projections, by that I mean financial projections. What does the financial picture look like from a top line and a bottom line perspective? Then you get to work on the bulk of your plan, which is your business strategy. What market segments are you serving? What's your value proposition to those market segments? Where are you gonna play? How are you gonna win? Just that, that really hardcore strategy stuff, which then has legs, has execution in strategic priorities. By that I mean like three year long-term strategic priorities. Normally there's about six of those or less which moves into your annual plan of company-wide goals and key performance indicators, or you might be using OKRs, objectives and key results, team goals and individual goals. So this really is the annual expression of your whole strategic plan. Sitting underneath all of this is what makes your plan come to life. So no one just wants a plan, we want a plan that is living, breathing. We want a plan that's agile and being adapted and is part of a management system. So how do you do that? You stand up a cycle. We check in with our progress monthly. We refresh quarterly. We communicate that out to the organization and maybe more broadly. And we publish um, our results across the organization and also likely more broadly. That's your system. And sitting next to it is your team culture. Your team culture is comprised of values, behaviors, and ways of working. Now, I didn't number these because you might be working on these in different types of processes or in different, different flows. It's technically not exactly part of a, a standard strategic planning process, but it's really important to making execution happen. So with that, that's a simple strategic planning model. I hope it helps you. We use it all of the time. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Please do subscribe to our channel. Happy strategizing.